Lob City. Lob City. Live City Show, and tonight our guest is Miss Carmen. How are you, ma'am? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Thank you for the recognition. Um, Thank you for so having me. You're a comedian. Me. Yes, I am. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, for about three years. Three years. And yes. how do you like it so far? Love it. How Love do your kids like it? Uh, they tolerate it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you have two boys, right? That is correct. Twenty-one. And 13. And 13. And how tall is the 13-year-old? Uh, He's 5'8". Five 5'8". Eight. Five eight. What town are you guys from? Good old Meriden, Connecticut. Meriden, Connecticut. Shout out Hubbard Park. You want to shout anybody else out from Meriden? Oh, can I? Go ahead. Oh, okay. yeah, go ahead. I'd like to shout out my fans who support me and who are here tonight. Thank you very much. Um, I also want to shout out my son, Bobby, my son, X. Um, my brother Martin. I have so many people. Can I name them all? All right, let's get back to the interview. <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> Cheeseburger. All right. Kayla so, Mays. where do you draw your references from when you do your comedy? Just your, uh, your life? What, what's going on there? You did talk about dating guys that's shorter than you are and yes there are a lot of people in the world that are short, shorter than you are yes, i seem to get hit the jackpot of smaller guys yeah yes but if you're hitting a jackpot that's a good thing right no so it's i not. mean isn't quantity better in dating than quality no 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 because when you're that short i always feel like i want to put you on my hip and maybe breastfeed you burp you things like that you know all right i mean I like being breastfed, but <laughs> <laughs> so and where are you finding these guys? All over. You'd be surprised. You would be surprised where I find I attract the opposite sex, and sometimes the same sex. It just depends on. Where Do you I'm have at. a preference? Yes. You can say it on TV. I mean, it's public yeah, access. No. I mean, no. you know. I am strictly dickly. Oh, I mean, I, I was gonna say Asian man. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Strictly does it. All right. All right. So, I mean. I like black men. Oh, she, she likes cool. black men. The darker the berry. Who like to be breastfed. <laughs> Any of your son's ball players? You guys are all tall. Yes, yes we are. Yeah. My 13-year-old plays ball. My um, older son has a ankle injury that um, stopped his athletic career, but um, he just made Dean's List at Southern, so he's quite an intelligent one. Shout out New Haven, Southern. Woo -hoo. Yeah, you like yeah. Shaq, huh? Oh no, I love Shaq. It, but check this out though, right? If you dated Shaq, it would be a reversal of roles, right? Because then you be at Shaq's nipples. And that is okay with me. You like that? <laughs> All right, well, we'll be back with Carmen at Shaq's Nipples. So, one of the things I was thinking about on the way here was whether or not I should start dating again. Because the issues that I have with dating are very, very entertaining to me. First of all, I can only attract a man that is 5'4 or under. <laughs> which means that they stop exactly at breast range. Good for them, not so much for me. So I said, yeah, I'll start dating. And I went as far as to even start dating someone that was shorter than me by like a foot. I didn't say anything when he asked me out because in my head, 
in my head, I was thinking, he does not meet the height requirements for this ride. <laughs> but I still went out with him, brought me over to his house, first date. And I said, ah, really, what can he do? You know, I could fuck him up, because he's only 5'4". <laughs> This man had me changing light bulbs, getting the cereal off the refrigerator for him, changing his curtains, and then going up in his attic to bring his Christmas tree down. And I was like, well, okay, I get that, but since it's the middle of the summer, why am I bringing your Christmas tree down now? He said he can't reach the ladder for the attic to pull it down, so he needed the... He needed me to do it, because I guess he knew I was never, ever coming back. But one of the things that I do require when I date people is that you're taller than my son. My son is 13, and my son is 5'8". You would think that was too much to ask. It would be something to ask if I asked you to be the same height or taller as my other son, who's 6'5". But I can't do that either. So I said, okay. Went on another date. This man was quite confident in himself. <laughs> he actually invited me to come to one of his club meetings. And I went. And I felt like the main character in Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> it was a meeting for little people. And when I say little people, they were little people. It was like a dress rehearsal for fucking Oompa Loompa Land. <laughs> Again, I'm a big bitch. I was very nervous for my ankles and my knees. So I said, okay, well, what I'll do is I'll have some, a drink. So I said, I'll do a shot. No one there knew what a shot was because apparently a shot to them is a full-size drink. shots later, I was on the stage, <laughs> drunk, and doing the Tootsie Roll. But it did end up nicely. I got my car note paid, got my rent paid, and my son's college tuition paid. <laughs> girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. That's my time, thank you very much. Good evening and welcome to Live City Show. Tonight our guest is Ivana Estelle. Hi, how you all doing? <laughs> Hello, Ivana. Hi, how you doing? How are you? I'm good. You? I'm doing well. Nice outfit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Tell me a little <laughs> about yourself. How did you start out singing? Um, I've been singing ever since I, I could possibly sing. Um, I've been singing since I was a little kid. Uh, me and my brother and my sister I've always just sang together. My dad was a DJ, so. Yeah, you told me that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, always listened to the great music, you know, old school, Temptations, Michael Jackson, all that kind of thing. Um, so we were just always singing around the house. Good. It just came natural. So you were telling me that you have a favorite vodka, effing vodka? <laughs> no? Sure. It's not my favorite, but uh, it is mentioned in the lyrics of one of my songs, uh, one of my soon-to-be singles, Pour It Up, so. Uh, F and V. Okay. Some good stuff. <laughs> what's the um, what's the project called? The project's going to be called Lyrics on a Napkin. Um, it's supposed to be dropping hopefully before the end of the summer within the next couple of months. Okay. And it's seven songs. Yeah, about six to seven songs. Okay. Who are the producers? Produced by Tiny himself. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be pretty big. You know, he's a great producer. Worked with Annoyed, so he's uh, okay. doing his thing on it. Yeah, I saw Annoyed at um basketball tournament he performed um, a few months ago. Oh, really? Yeah, he's pretty good. Anyways, this is a Noid <laughs> show, so <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about yourself. Uh, you're the middle child. I am. I'm the middle child, the second of three. And the problem child, and you had to let it all <laughs> out and be creative, so you became a singer. I'm the rebel child. Actually, you know, all of my siblings, we all sing, but all in different aspects. So yeah. My brother is doing his own thing. Um, working his way through music, and my sister is actually going to uh, to school, for, um, like performing arts school. Yeah. So she's trying to get on Broadway. Nice. But all of us are singing. Wow, that's <laughs> pretty good. So tell me a little bit about your favorite artists. 
Um, my favorite artists, I have a, a few. I can't pinpoint just one person, but like I, I listen to Tori Kelly, uh, Seven Streeter, uh, Kalani. Um, I love, love, love Rihanna. Uh, of course, Beyonce, she's Queen B. Who doesn't love her? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I like artists who aren't afraid to kind of push what the norm is, who, who want to be edgy, who don't mind trying to do something different. And I feel like all of those artists I just mentioned do that. Welcome back to Live City Show. And our guest tonight is Ivana Estelle. And before we went out, we asked you a question about what needs to happen for CT to get its own style and its own sound. So. Right, and I said it was, it was a pretty deep question. To be honest, I can't answer it. Yeah. And the reason being is, I am one of those artists trying to be trying to make it and trying to make their own sound now. Right. When I but, make it, I'll let you know. <laughs> but that's the thing, right? Like I know a lot of rappers, right? Like I'm from a town where like everyone's a rapper, right? But everyone seems to take something from a place that's already established in the industry, right? So, you know, uh, someone sounds like you know trap or or you know like like the kids from Chicago now or New York. And my whole thing is. The only reason why those places have made it so far is because they didn't have to go anywhere else. They had that unity like, like you spoke of earlier, and they were confident enough that what they had was substantive enough uh, to express it and that the rest of the world will want to hear it. So I think, you know. I mean, but look at Connecticut. Like, you go to Southern Connecticut and we have this, this, this lifestyle, this culture that is very <clears throat> close and similar to New York. You go to the northern part of Connecticut and they all act like they're from Boston. Right. And somehow we're supposed to create and cultivate a style that is our own, but nothing about Connecticut is really its own. Like, we're just this center in between two massive areas that have their own styles. Right. So how do we create something that is our own? Ah, so maybe Connecticut is the renaissance state and it's just a, a an amalgamy of everything else right is that, that that's a good word hey, yo look up amalgamy is that, <laughs> is that a, 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 a mashup of everything else right all right so now let's get back to uh you know your favorite artist and beyonce right <laughs> and yes. not your favorite artist but you know queen b like you said <laughs> let's pick a queen can i pick the song and, and, and tell you the part that I want to sing? Okay, let's hear it. Because I'm good at singing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's hear it. I'll believe it when I hear it. No, all right, so let, <laughs> let's um, Get Me Body. That's my favorite Beyonce song. All I know, I, can I be honest with you? Mm -hmm. All I know is, baby, all I want. And then she goes too high for me, and then I just tune out. So that's why I jump in, and then, like, I'll let you have it. Okay. I'll try it. Let me see if I remember the words. <clears throat> Baby, all I want is to let it go. No worries, all. And no. Love Me is the single, so make sure you check it out on SoundCloud, on Facebook, Instagram, anything that has Yvonne Estelle on it, you'll find it. And she brought a beautiful mask to match her beautiful outfit tonight, <laughs> and the song will be coming up right after this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Connecticut's own, the beautiful Yvonne Estelle. I'm 
to explain why don't you love me I know I have friends and many people who care But I never felt more alone than the day you were there So can't stand to be with you but I'm so lost without you I'm pleading to you with no reply I know it's been rough for you. I ain't not enough for you. I'm racking my brain to find the words to explain. Why don't you love me the way that I love you? See, you've been here before, but never here with me. Let down your walls, give all your pain to me. I won't hurt you. Trust me with your heart and you'll see Now, in case uh, you didn't figure it out, she's from New Britain. Hard because hit. apparently, everyone's from New Britain on this show. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out why that is. Why are we getting so many New Britain guests? We're working. working? That's what we're doing, yeah. yeah. You guys are working, we're working, so. So the marriage is lazy, <laughs> is what she's saying. <laughs> Shots fired. All right, so talk to me. How long have you been doing this? Um, I mean, I love music since I was a little kid. Like, I yeah. remember waking up, coming downstairs, my mom was blasting Motown. So, like, it's always been in me, but I played basketball since I was little, too. So, I always had to choose. Yeah. Then when I got to college, I got introduced to Garage Band, and it was all over from there. I fell in love all over again. What was the name of the Garage Band? Were you in a Garage Band? Nah, the, on the MacBook, Garage Band. Oh. Like, you know, Logic Pro. I like. have a MacBook too, and I have no idea what Garage Band is. That's the best part of the Mac. Really? Yeah. Wow. You'll get addicted. Like, it's so amazing when I talk to young people. Like, like, I felt so much growth just now. Like, I'm gonna check that out. Do that. Yeah. You can get so, on the track. So the single, tell me about the single. The single's called Woke. Yeah. Um. It's really special to me. It's different. Like, um, it, first of all, I was inspired by a weekend where just everything was just going wrong. It was a terrible time for me. And mm -hmm. I, didn't, um, I didn't have the plans to release it as a single. I made that song specifically for me because I was going through something. So I just went out to the studio, threw on a beat, and it just came out. Like, I wasn't even really there thinking about what I was saying. It just kind of flowed. Yeah. And um, I played it for my mom. And my mom's my toughest critic. So yeah. she, if she don't like it, she going to... Two thumbs down. She don't Mom, like keep it. Keep it real. She all the way. That's what's up. But she loved it, and she was dancing. And before we knew it, like my whole family and my friends were there, and we were just all vibing to it. And I was like, you know what? I think this is the one that I want to push. So, in the song, you talked about getting twenty dollars for spelling bee when oh, you were man. younger, right? That was a while ago. 
No. But, yeah. You want to challenge being a spelling bee? Ch- all right. Yeah? I mean, we can give it a go. Yeah. Do you have $20 in I case? Mean, I might. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. What's the word? Come on, give me a word. Oh, man. What's the word? Vehicle. 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 V-E-H-I-C-L-E. Vehicle. Judges. I did everywhere I go. Yeah. Same ones. Day All ones. Right. So, would you like to uh, bring your crew up? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We get to talk yeah. to your crew after. Bring them up. Okay. All right. So, after the break, we'll talk to Tyler's crew. Slim me twenties every time I won the spelling B E L I E V E. Keep your head up, child of a king. Never let up. Bless, bless me while I grind and I get this bread up. Here's to another day. I'm out to be better. Cause I woke up, I woke up, 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 and I'm thankful, and I'm thankful, and I look up, I look up, up. up. I know I got angels, I got angels. I walk by faith and not by sight. I know that things gon' be alright. Cause you got me, cause you got, got, got me Back to Live City Show, we have Tyler with us today, and she brought a couple of special guests. Can we introduce a special guest? Of course. My name is Roa from New Brand, Connecticut, repping 35. And my name is Shantae. I'm from New Britain as well, and I'm with Label 35. Trey 5. And Shantae just screwed up the last segment, so. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about Label 35. Yeah, so, um, these are my best friends. We go way back. Like, so no matter what we were going to be doing in our future, they're going to be involved in it. We're going to be involved with it, one another. Of course. He was making music. I was making music. She was making music. So it was like, now nah, we should just do something together. Because, yeah. you know, we believe, you know, 
do what you love with who you love. Right. And yeah. you love making music, and I love them, so it made sense. So we've been getting this sense. Not in a race, you know, we do this for ourselves, it's not for anybody else. Do what you love with who you love. I use that line on women. <laughs> um, Does that work well for you? Because they don't really like love. <laughs> love off rip doesn't really work. I, I struck out in New Britain yeah. on Sex the Night. I heard, I, I heard about that. <laughs> I struck out in New Britain? You know, I wanted to listen to strike out in New Britain. On Sex the oh. Nav. On Sex the Nav of all places, <laughs> right? Shout out Sex the Nav. McDonald's down the hill. Great I don't McDonald's. Even know where Sex the Nav is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so tell you guys, how long have you known each other? I mean, I knew Shantae, like, church. I met her in church when we were mad little. Oh, Probably, I yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Really? And then, Baj, you moved on my street. When like, I was, like, 11. Yeah. And my mom, like, was like, go play with him. We were like, nah, we ain't going over there. <laughs> but cool. good thing I did. Years, 16 yeah. years now? Did he have the beard? No. I had a little mustache and a little Puerto Rican mustache. Yeah, a little fuzz. A That's little fuzz. why you said no, because he was going to pervert mustache yeah. at that time. That might have been it. I have an electric <laughs> role. I know how it is. Yeah, yeah we're face. <laughs> so, so what's the goal for you guys? What's the objective of Label 35? We just want to, like I said, do what we want to do. It was like, we're on the pursuit of happiness, right? And what makes me happy is music. Right. And when I realized through songs like Woke, sharing it with other people that it did something for them, it made them happy, it was like, wow, that's, that's a double, that's a bonus. Yeah, for so sure. That's yeah. what we just want to do, and just it's stay all real. real. It's all real music yeah. from the heart, you know? Yeah. I'm not, insecurities, everybody has insecurities. Exactly. But with us, Absolutely. we're just putting them out there. Right. You know? Absolutely. Making real music. Shante, have you put out any of your insecurities lately? Um, no. I have some songs that I'm on, I'm featured on with Tyler. Yeah. Um, and we have that song, Hold You, and... That's on the In My Feelings EP. Yeah. It's on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. Okay. On her project. Yeah. We got to get that out there, In My Feelings. Yeah, for sure. SoundCloud, Bandcamp. Label 35. For sure. All right. So tell me, I ask everyone this that comes on the show, what's the Connecticut sound? Um, it's all versatile. Everybody's making a different sound. You know, there's a little bit of trap, there's a little bit of hip-hop, and then... It's country music, like we said. It's just yeah. you know, a bunch of different music. Right. Connecticut is very diverse in general. Right. So Especially in New Britain, we have so many. Yeah. You know, well, shows. I was talking to you earlier, and you said um, it may be due to uh, positioning, being in between Boston Two major and, cities. and New York City. So yeah. uh, you're not the first person that said that on this show, that it's sort of like a, a fusion. It is, definitely. Of, uh, you know, different yeah, of styles. We just try to make our own sound, though, you know? It's yeah. like we don't let anything. Is there a name for your own, own sound, Mr. Roa? Maybe just Label 35 Sound. <laughs> label 35 Sound. It's our sound. Yeah? Well, we just dropped, Baj and I just dropped The Prize. Yeah, which is a single on SoundCloud. Which is pretty dope. Speaking of a variety of music coming out of Connecticut, like, we're usually doing hip-hop and stuff, but that's like, what would you call that? It's more like a pop, pop rock song. Yeah, okay. definitely. Just trying to go out the box, you know? Yeah. I don't right. want to be in this box of hip hop. All right. Well, I'm listening to Woke, and you guys will be listening to Woke sometime soon, too. Tyler and Label 35. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.